A multi-county pursuit this morning ended with crashes, injuries, and arrests. Sky 5 shows the wreckage and all the mangled cars on Fortress Boulevard in Murfreesboro. At least six vehicles were involved in the crash at this intersection where the police chase ended. Sources tell News Channel 5 deputies in Williamson County began chasing two suspects in this Penske truck. The suspects led them to Rutherford County where they crashed the truck and tried to run. Police quickly arrested the pair. Now investigators are interviewing witnesses and reconstructing this trail of debris. I'm just thinking what kind of idiot's trying to run in a box truck. You're not outrunning the cops in that. It's that simple. But to be in a box truck and try and blow through this and put everybody else's life in danger is pure idiotic. Stay with News Channel 5 as we work to learn more about this incident, including how many people were injured and what prompted this chase. A gunman still on the run this morning after a terrifying robbery outside a popular store in West Nashville. It happened late last night around 9 o'clock in the Target parking lot on White Bridge Road. Police tell us this was a robbery turned shooting. There were still customers in the parking lot and inside the store when it all happened. One victim was hit in the arm and the other in the leg. If you have any information, give police a call. The search continues as well for this man, Pavan Voletti, who police say shot a man outside Brighton Valley Apartments. Investigators believe Voletti was outside his ex-girlfriend's apartment yesterday around noon when she and William Thomas Lee III got into a car to leave. Police say that's when Voletti approached them and fired shots inside the car, killing Lee. Valetti took off in a white BMW, which was later found in Lenox Village. Now, if you see Valetti, don't approach him, but call 911 immediately. A tough report from the Congressional Budget Office is pushing another Republican to say she cannot support their plan to repeal and replace Obamacare. Six GOP senators now say they oppose the health care bill as it's currently written. Four of them won't even vote for a motion to bring the bill up for a formal debate. We're following the developments on Capitol Hill and we'll have more on this later today at 4.